Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Educational Point. I am Jyoti ma'am and I am here with you to discuss the topic set theory. So session ko start karne se pehle, I want to say please subscribe my channel also like and share this video. Now let's start today's session. Today I am going to discuss definition of a set then representation of a set then cardinality of a set तो सेशन को पूरा देखें और जाने सेट थ्योरी के बारे में as you know in the previous video I discussed introduction to discrete structure and उसमें हमने बात की थी about discrete structure also why study discrete structure जिसके कुछ reasons हमने देखा था कि ये help करता है बहुत से problem को solve करने के लिए like graph problem, distance problem, password problem, etc. After that, हमने देखा था main topics of discrete structure. और आज हम first topic के बारे में जानेंगे जो है set theory. तो जिन्होंने मेरे previous video को नहीं देखा है, please watch it now. Now let's begin the introduction of set. Here we will see what is set. Let's see the definition. A set is a well-defined, unordered collection of distinct objects or elements of same type. It means ki set a well-defined or same type ke distinct elements ka unordered collection hai. The objects belonging to a set are called elements or members of that set. Sati, kisi set ke objects jo us set se belong karte hai, usse elements karte hai. To aye isse jante hai, example ke saath. Consider a set A of vowels in English. A is equals to small a, small e, small i, small o, and small u. Here, set A is a well-defined collection of distinct elements. So, this is a well-defined set and we belong to every object ko elements. Kahenge. Here, you can see on the screen that A is an element, E is an element, I is an element, O is an element, and U is element. So, हर एक object जो इस set का member है, उसको हम elements कहेंगे. And the brackets are known as set brackets. Let's take another example. Set of all natural numbers. Capital N is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 3 dots. Here the 3 dots are called ellipses. It means continue on. Here we have infinite numbers of elements. So we can show this by three dots. One more thing. If x is an element of a set A, we write x belongs to A. Here A is an element of set A. Therefore we can write this as A belongs to A. Also, if x is not an element of a set A, we write x not belongs to A. Here, f not belongs to A. You can see that f is not an element of set A. So, we can write this as f not belongs to A. Now, let's go for the next. Here, we will talk about representation of set. Let's see. There are two ways of representing sets. Number one, tabular form. It is also known as roster form. Number two, set builder form. So, set ko represent karne ke liye hamar paas do tarike hai. Ek tabular form ke through or second set builder form ke through. One another way is pictorial representation through Venn diagrams. So, we will see what we have to do in the 
let's go for the explanation of them here we will talk about tabular form let's see the definition tabular form is also known as roster form in this form all the elements of a set are listed and being separated by commas and are enclosed within brackets it means tabular form mein jo bhi elements hote hain wo listed hote hain aur separated hote hain comma ke through aur enclosed hote hain curly braces ke through let's see an example the set of all vowels in the english alphabet is like this capital v is equals to within curly braces a e i o u and all the elements are separated by commas to so, is tarike se jab bhi hum kisi bhi set ko likhenge to wo kehlayega tabular form let's see the another example the set of odd numbers less than 10 is written as capital n is equals to within curly brackets 1 3 5 7 9 and all the elements are separated by the commas now let's see about the set builder form here we will talk about set builder form let's see the definition set builder form is also known as property method in this form all the elements of a set possess a single common property which is not possessed by any element outside the set it means ki set builder form mein sare elements ek single common property ko pose karte hain let's see an example the set a e i o u let's see how we can write this as set builder form we can write this as capital v is equals to x such that x is a vowel in the english alphabet तो क्योंकि ये सारे एलिमेंट्स इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट के हैं और इनका प्रॉपर्टी है कि ये सारे एलिमेंट्स वॉवल हैं तो हम इसको इस तरीके से लिख सकते हैं डेट मीन्स ये सारे एलिमेंट्स एक कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी से रिलेट करते हैं विच इज वॉवल इन द इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल हियर वी हैव द अनदर सेट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दिस सेट आर वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन so we can write this set in set builder form as capital n is equals to x such that x is greater than is equals to 1 also less than 10 and x more to not equal to 0 it means ki ye sare elements ka ek common property hai ki ye 1 aur 1 se greater hai साथ ही टेन से स्मॉलर है जब इनको डिवाइड किया जाता है टू से रिवेंडर विल बी नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो तो ये सारे एलिमेंट्स इस कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी को फॉलो कर रहे हैं तो हम सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म में इस तरीके से लिख सकते हैं आई होप इट इज क्लियर हाउ वी कैन राइट अ सेट इन अ टेबुलर फॉर्म और इन अ सेट बिल्डर फॉर्म नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट here we will talk about cardinality of a set let's see the cardinality of a set is a measure of the number of elements of the set cardinality of a set s is denoted by like this to kisi bhi set ka cardinality uske set mein present elements ke numbers ko मेजर करता है और अगर हमें रिप्रेजेंट करना हो किसी भी सेट का कार्डिनेलिटी को तो हम उसको इस तरीके से रिप्रेजेंट करेंगे फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव अ सेट ए व्हिच हैज द फाइव एलिमेंट्स ए ई आई ओ यू देन वी कैन शो द कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ ए इज लाइक दिस कार्डिनेलिटी ऑफ ए इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव and we have the infinite set like n then we can show the cardinality of n by infinity symbol 
so that's all for today thanks for watching my video and who haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe first also press the bell icon for further updates